Hi everyone, welcome to the NAND Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about step by step, as part of our step by step OpenShift 4.x deployment process. So one of the prerequisites is download OpenShift installer. Okay. And in our lab environment, we are going to deploy Red Hat OpenShift container platform. It is a enterprise grade Kubernetes platform. And it is running going to run on vSphere 8 environment. And we have a shared storage using nimble storage and ESXi host running on HPE Synergy frame. Okay, and let's quickly recap our Red Hat OpenShift on vSphere solution architecture. In our previous session, I talked about our infrastructure validation using vCenter server, ESX and vCenter server, and we configured the Windows AD, DNS server, DHCP server, and also the static route. But in this session, I'm going to talk about the remaining pre-implementation steps. So when you see the pre-implementation steps, the green tick one all completed earlier session and to now in this uh, session i'm going to focusing on download openshift installer okay so to download the openshift installer it is pretty simple in the google open the google and you can type in the google download openshift you will directly redirect it to the red hat website which is https console.redhat.com slash openshift once you log on to this website when you click on download red hat openshift we can try red hat openshift in a three methods first one is developer sandbox that means it is if you want to test it on your local system or laptop you can use this one there is a trial length for 30 days and suppose the managed services the, this version if you download the cost is free and we can utilize for 60 days trial edition but only requirement is we should have a aws amazon web services account or google cloud account and another one is self-managed environment self-managed environment more suitable for the on-premises data center or any of the cloud environment this is also trial length is cost is free trial length for 60 days evolution period and and see you can use for existing infrastructure or cloud account either private cloud or hybrid cloud environments but in our lab we are using a normal existing infrastructure and when you click on start your trial option it will prompt you for a four installation options so within that one is the interactive method we also call it as assisted installer and this is completely web-based installer and another one is local agent based this is currently in a developer preview uh, openshift release red hat released this version only from the 4.11 onwards previously we do not have this method because it's a agent based installer and another one automated method this is cli based and this method is specifically for a ipa method ipa means installer provision infrastructure method and full control option this full control one is we call it as upa method upa means user provision infrastructure method but if you notice here the second third and fourth options all are we can deploy using a cli based command line interface based installation but only the interactive method only we can install openshift cluster using the web based installation okay in our lab, I'm going to show you using the IPA based installation, which is automated method. That means the master nodes, worker nodes, we don't need to create manually. It will create it automatically. But when it comes to the full control one, we have to create the master node and worker node manually. Okay. And when we click on this automated option or whatever the option you want to install, when you click on the specific option, it will prompt you to to download your OpenShift installer. So we can download the OpenShift installer using the download installer option, and we can download the pull secret. And also there are command line utilities, even CLI access, OpenShift command line access, we have to download these tools, download command line tools. And the installation normally, when we download and start the installation, installer will take about 45 minutes to run okay so in this session i'll just show you the download option and how we are going to upload it to the our openshift helper vm and installation i will come up with the another session okay so let's quickly log into our lab system and we'll download see so let's open the google and type you can type the download red hat openshift when you type download red hat openshift it will redirect it to the red hat website so console dot redhat.com slash openshift see we can see redhat openshift container platform and here if you want to 
try, try to download this option, you can just click on try. And now click on self-managed option, start your trial. And it is says production trial is expired. I already did one production trial. It says expired, but it's fine. We are going to do for another trial. See, now it is redirected to Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console. One cluster I'm already using that is 60 days trial. Still, we have 60 days left. When you are planning for new cluster, just click on create cluster option. And we have an option to deploy in a cloud environment, data center, and local. Suppose when I click on cloud, we can see the cloud options. It's available for Azure, IBM, AWS, public cloud options. These are all the options we can run. And another option is data center. Data center also, we can run it on bare metal environment, Azure Stack Hub, and we can also run it on Nutanix AOS, Red Hat OpenStack, Red Hat Virtualization, and vSphere. Currently, we are planning to choose vSphere environment. Suppose if you want to run it on your local laptop, you can go to the local option and download. This is for a local option on your local laptop or desktop. But our scenario is select the data center, and we can choose the vSphere option, and we have a four options to install. Either we can choose interactive, local agent, or IPA method, or UPA method. So we are planning for IPA method, install a provision, infrastructure method. When you select this option, it will prompt you to download. So download the installer. See, downloading, I'm just copying to C drive. So let's download. And even pull secret, we can download. Or when you are installing, we can just copy the secret using this tab. OK? And this pull secret, it will work fine until the 24 hours. Even if you are planning to do tomorrow, the pull secret, we have to download it freshly because it will work for only within 24 hours only. And the command line interface, if you want to download Windows download, you can choose Windows. For Mac, you can choose Mac. But in our uh, lab environment, we have a OpenShift helper VM is on Linux. So select Linux and download command line tools. OK, so just copy. It's copying on C drive, Red Hat OpenShift 4 folder. So just save it. See, both downloads are completed. So once it is downloaded, we are need to upload it to the Linux system. So in order to upload that one, you can use either command line SCP command or an alternative option is we can use WinSCP tool, Windows Secure Copy, and log into our helper VM. So 192.168.243. Our helper VM IP is 46. So now enter the login credentials. Now click on next, click on yes. So now we have a left plan represent as a window, our window system, and right pan is represent as a our OpenShift helper VM. So our data is copied to C drive. It is under the C drive. We copy to Red Hat OpenShift 4. So click on OK. So just copy those two files, downloaded files to just select this to drag and drop it to the OpenShift helper VM so that these files will be copying to our helper VM or we can, in other words, we can say we are uploading these binaries to the our OpenShift helper VM. So upload is 39%. OK, 50, 62%. It's going to finish soon. See, the upload is completed. If you want to verify this from command line, connect to our SSH to the OpenShift helper VM. See, this is our OpenShift helper VM. Even if you type host name CTL, we can see the host name is OCP helper VM and Red Hat Linux 8.6 version. And if you want to see our newly copied binary files, ls space hyphen L, we can see the list. See OpenShift client Linux torf.gz file is copied and also the OpenShift installer dot hyphen Linux dot tor.z. Both files are copied. 
okay and in the next session i will show you the open shift installation implementation procedure and during that time this star one we have to extract and we can copy into the local location and initiate the open shift installation okay so installation may take around 45 minutes so with interest of us time i will stop here we'll continue with the another session okay so if you recap the procedure pre-implementation steps we completed all and the final step also completed now download open shift installer is done okay so that's it thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now